What if I told you that one of the most respected laser engraving systems in the world isn't made overseas, but right here in Golden, Colorado? This is Epilogue Laser, and this is the story of how they build precision laser machines from the ground up entirely in-house, including something almost no one else does, making their own RF laser tubes. Hey everybody, welcome back to Laser Engraving 911. So on this special episode, we're out here in Golden, Colorado at Epilogue Lasers headquarters. And we're going to go inside and get you guys a backstage pass to see what goes on over here at Epilogue. We're gonna get into how the machines are made, how the software engineers work, how the design team works, and everything we can about the inner workings of Epilogue, including some reviews of the Epilogue Maker line. So if that sounds like something you wanna get into, then buckle up, get your pen and paper out, because we're about to get into some Epilogue on Laser Engraving 911. The story of Epilogue started in 1986 when three like-minded individuals named Steve Garnier, John Doran, and Mike Dean saw a future for laser engraving technology far beyond industrial cutting. What began in a garage grew into a company trusted by entrepreneurs, educators, and manufacturers around the globe. I went to uh, an engineering college and there was a pretty heavy culture of uh, starting your own business there. So it was just sort of infused in, in the student population. We talked about it a lot. So uh, John, my other partner who's since retired, uh, we talked about this incessantly. And then finally the opportunity presented itself. My background's in electronics and controls, uh, motion control systems. And his background's actually in lasers. He's a laser hobbyist. And uh, we got together and said, well, let's build a laser engraving machine. And um, we both knew Mike from a prior employer, and uh, he had a, an itch to get involved in marketing. And uh, that's something Juan and I were very good at, obviously, we're engineers. Mm -hmm. So that's, those are the three basic pieces we had in place here. We had the product, you know, we had a little bit of money that we'd saved up. You have to have money to start a business. Yeah, you do. And then we had marketing, and uh, you know, we got started, we built the machine, and the uh, first trade show we went to, the first customer that came by, looked at the machine, we gave him a demo. He said, I'd like to buy this one. I thought, well, great. He said, no, I want to buy this one. <laughs> I thought, well, maybe we got something here. Maybe, maybe we'll be okay. So you weren't really trying to solve a problem out there, but more create something kind build of- Build a tool. Build a tool. Yeah. Create something kind of new that nobody had ever really had access to and a, a creative tool. Yep. Yeah, that's and our, really cool. And our business plan required five machines, I can't remember, was it a month? Five machines a month. A month, right. And if we did that, we could cover our expenses and we'd all be happy. And it turned out we did, we sold a few more than that. So it's, that's all been gravy. Nobody had ever seen or heard of this type of product until Steve and John invented it, it didn't exist. So being on the marketing side, in the early days, I always felt like we were more educators than marketers. And so we would educate people on what the machine was, how it worked, how they would operate it. That's what we would do and we would educate them. Most laser machines today are assembled from imported parts but Epilogue takes a different approach. We have a team of people who construct the chassis, so we buy the parts from local sheet metal suppliers and yep. then bring them in here, and we have a couple guys that rivet them together and do the quality checks that we need at every step of that process. From precision engineered frames to custom optics and electronics, nearly every component is manufactured and assembled under one roof. So this is the clean room. This is the clean room. This well, this is, is the staging room where you, you gown get, up. You got to gown up. Yep. You got to put all your hair nets on, all that yep. kind yep, of stuff. Yep. And uh, inside the laser, uh, the laser is, um, it's, it has to be very, very clean. Um, it's one of those things about uh, processing the laser tube. If you don't get everything inside just absolutely scrupulously clean, yep. the laser will run for 100 hours or 500 hours, and then it will start to lose power. Wow. Because uh, any kind of oil inside, um, any kind of un- Passivated metal will uh, basically absorb oxygen out of the mix, and that screws up the gas chemistry because the CO2 disassociates, and the oxygen will basically attach to whatever's available. Okay. And then it can't recombine, and then you start losing power. Wow. So it's hard to build these things so they last a long time, and that's something that's um, kind of unique to Epilogue, um, that we build a laser that lasts for a long time. It's made in, obviously, the laser is made in the United States of America. We build them there. 
Yeah. So, and was that always the case uh, when you first started been, the company? Twenty years, we've been building our own lasers. You've been building your own now, lasers. Initially, stores. initially we uh, we bought lasers, but we had issues with them. Uh -huh. uh, we wanted to see if we could try to improve the uh, the brand a little bit, uh, better reliability, better performance. So we started building our own. And there's obviously economic advantages as well. It's a multi-week process to build a laser start to finish. Wow. And you build the uh, 30 watt, 60 watt, uh, the higher, all, all the watts, tubes. watts, to, yeah, they're all out here. I can show them to you all. So. Wow. This is actually the, the new 120 watt tube. So it's uh, the old one actually had a separate RF on it. It was two boxes. Yeah. And we've integrated it to a single box now. So uh, oh, yeah, obviously there's always pressure trying to make them better, make them smaller, make them easier to service. And you can see these lasers look a little different now. So these actually have, this is the uh, red dot pointer. Okay. So, and that has to be aligned as well. So yep. that's a separate step. And they can do that here. Uh, Not here. That's actually, everything that involves firing a laser has to be done in a closed room yep. for safety. Yep. So that's okay. important to us. Yeah, so. or it should be. These are the, looks like what, maybe 30 and 60 watts? Uh, probably 30 and 40s. Yeah. 30s and, and 40s? 50s and 60s, yep. Okay. Yep, the length, length is the, is the giveaway there. Very nice. So there, I, you can see them changing as we move through the stages, yep. the laser tubes. Add the wiring. Yep. Some fiber Some lasers. Some fiber sources there. Yep. A couple of hundred watts. At the heart of every CO2 laser system is the laser tube. And this is where Epilog really sets themselves apart. While many companies source theirs from third parties, Epilog builds their own RF excited metal laser tubes in-house with unmatched precision, accuracy, and quality. We have put a lot of effort into understanding and cementing our production process. So we monitor data on the tubes all throughout the process, and we're continually evaluating that data. And we've had a very good plan over the years to iteratively make improvements to the tubes as we see you know, issues that creep up like electronics, we know this component fails. Mm -hmm. So we've been proactive about life testing and changing that. So we constantly have tubes on life test mm -hmm. and we're stressing them. So I would say that we have done a great job and making sure our tubes are rugged and reliable. So we are looking at a 60 watt laser uh, that is ready to go into alignment. We are starting with a very respectable 49 watts, so a good starting point for any of our aligners. So you can see since we're not quite aligned, we've got a real faint little spot down there, but once we get it aligned better, it's gonna darken right up. And you are tuning the beam right now, doing an alignment. Yep. And you're looking for a specific shape? I'm looking for a good shape and I'm looking for good power. Right. And then it'll move to the next phase of testing. And this is the process that gets done for every single laser source that comes out of Epilar. So the way that the beam's gonna travel through the tube, it's a Z-fold. Yeah. So our beam's gonna start on this bottom optic back here. We'll travel down, reflect off of the bottom optic here, up to this one, and then out through our output coupler where the beam comes out. What we're doing is we're hitting this, this uh, beam splitter right here. Yeah. We send some to the power meter, and yeah. that's giving us our power reading. This splits over to this mirror, which reflects some into our camera. That's yeah. where we get our picture of the beam. And then our last one goes over to this mode screen where you can see we are getting a little bit better picture showing up down here. Yep, I uh, see that. Slowly getting better. Once we get the better power and fully aligned, you can see a nice dark, sometimes it'll even burn the mode screen and that's kind of what we're looking that's for. That's what you're looking for, yeah. maximum concentration. Yes. Right? Yep. What a neat process. I honestly had no idea, but that is what goes into these laser sources to get them tuned so precise. But the machine is only part of the equation. Epilogue's in-house software team ensures that the user experience is just as refined as the machines themselves, whether you're a beginner or a production shop running jobs all day long. I would say for us, the biggest thing that we always are focusing on is the ease of use. So historically, when we look at our machines, our claim to fame was you could use basically any software and just treat our systems as a printer. You know, it's got to be really easy to use. This makes it so that we have a huge market of untapped people that don't want to learn to be like machinists or something like that. They can just get running with our machine. So we're always thinking about, you know, what can we do to make the customer's process fit 
against our machine as tightly as possible without you know, stumbling over the machine or doing something like that. So I'm with uh, Kyle here at Epilogue Tech Support, a very important part of Epilogue. And uh, he's gonna give us a little tour about what goes on here at the tech support building. So this building houses our service department, which is, is machine service. So we get machines back in for repair, for refurb. This also houses our tech support department where we help hundreds of customers a week. You've got live help on the phone. You also have kind of a ticket system as well. We do. That's email support back and forth, but you can also talk to people live, which is my favorite part about Epilogue. Absolutely, yeah. A lot of feedback I get is the appreciation for our tech support group yeah. and um, how they have the ability to take maybe a very complex issue and and push it back to the customer's level, be able to explain what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. and. Um, for lack of a better word, the hand-holding that they can provide and have provided. I get a lot of kudos for our tech support group and the great job that they do do. So this is where we uh, have a lot of machines that the technicians can come in and put hands on them, uh, try to replicate conditions a customer may see. Um, so we've got a lot of different machines in here that seem to come and go, yeah. um, but fairly well represented throughout all the model lines. So Wow, you've got the yeah. Helix, you've got the Pro, you've got the M2, which is what I have, yeah. and I've got an Edge here. Yeah, so uh, oh, you even have the. Uh... So this is uh, this is quite the Frankenstein machine, but uh, uh, we've had this for a long time. This is serial number two of the mini of the Epilogue Mini. So, Look at that. Um, so this is kind of like our our first stepping stone that everybody starts on the the uh, Mini Helix family line. So. Do, do customers still have these running out there? Absolutely. That is crazy. Absolutely. We, that is really good. I mean, that says a lot yep. about the machine and yep. you're still offering support for that. That's really cool. Yep. Every single laser at Epilogue passes through rigorous quality control before it ever leaves the building. Tested for precision, safety, and long-term durability. Every step in the process, we're going through checking the parts and doing just iterative testing throughout to make sure that things are acting like we know they should. This area is where we set up all of the laser tubes. We get them here and then we put them through additional tests. And then we use this fixture over here uh, to align the lasers, uh, to bench align the lasers. And that's to get the red dot and the, and the laser beam coaxial so they're hitting the same spot. So we really do our best to set up those laser tubes so that it's as plug and play as possible for the customers. So this is final test. So this is actually our, uh, it's basically a machine that measures uh, the, the laser engraving very, very accurately. Cause you know, back in the early days, we would just, you know, pretty much just take it up and look at it with a loop and say, yeah, it looks good. Mm -hmm. But this machine can actually look at everything. It can look at the orthogonality, the squareness, the size, the shape, the scaling, and actually look at the engraving as well. And if there's anything that's out of specification, it will automatically detect it. It's an optical inspection system. Okay. So basically it's got a, a I don't know if you see the lens or not, but the lens is enormous. Yeah, so I see it. Essentially what happens is it goes down, it, can, it, it looks at it and it basically compares it to a reference in memory and it can tell you if it's correct or incorrect. It can measure mechanical features on parts. It can measure pretty much anything. Very cool. So it's a neat machine. In an industry flooded with copycats and shortcuts, Epilogue's approach is refreshingly rare. Designed, built and tested in the United States of America. Anyone and everyone can basically use our machines because they're so easy to use and there's so many different applications in little niches that people can use the machines for. It's, it's amazing. It is across the board and something I wouldn't have thought of before starting to work here. How many different business types it can touch all the way from the Etsy startup type businesses to you know, someone that does crafts on the weekend and goes to craft fairs all the way up to large manufacturer, industrial manufacturing. It's been a fun journey, so thanks to all of our customers for making it possible. <laughs> These machines are more than tools. They're a reflection of what happens when you put craftsmanship first.